Welcome to Lucid Mind Chemistry channel. In this video, I have compiled questions related to finding Kp values and effect of pressure, temperature on Kp values. For similar topics and question timestamps, read video description. Question 11, two reactions are shown. This is the first reaction. This is the second reaction. The equilibrium constant Kp for reaction 1 is 0.0052. What is Kp for reaction 2? Now in order to find the Kp for reaction 2, we need to find if there is any relation between Kp of reaction 1 and Kp of reaction 2. So for first reaction we have Kp1. It is equal to the pressure of xy raised to the power the number of moles divided by pressure of x2 into pressure of y2. We can write it in the form of brackets. For Kp2 we can write Kp2 is equal to the second equation. We have pressure of x2 raised to the power its number of moles multiply by pressure of y2 raised to the power its number of moles divided by pressure of xy and the power is 1. We can write the value of for Kp1 we have 0.0052 and it is equal to the pressure of xy square divided by pressure of x2 into pressure of y2. So reverting this equation we can write 1 over 0.0052 will be equal to the pressure of x2 into pressure of y2 divided by pressure of xy raised to the power 2. Now taking under root on both sides we have the value comes to be 13.86 and on this side we can write pressure of x2 raised to the power 1 by 2 into pressure of y2 raised to the power 1 by 2 and pressure of xy 2 into 1 by 2 now we can see that this side and this side are actually the same so we can write kp2 in place of this equation part so 13.86 will be equal to kp2 or we can also round it off to 13.9 Therefore, answer is B. Question 10. Sulfur dioxide and oxygen react to form sulfur trioxide. The reaction is reversible. We have two moles of sulfur dioxide that reacts with one mole of oxygen to form two moles of sulfur trioxide. Kp for this reaction is given per pascals. Temperature is 700 degrees centigrade. The reaction is allowed to reach equilibrium at 700 degrees centigrade. The partial pressure of oxygen is 375 kilopascals and the partial pressure of sulfur trioxide is 20.3 kilopascals. What is the partial pressure of SO2 gas? We can start with the formula of partial pressure. Kp is equal to the pressure of product which is sulfur trioxide raised to the power is number of moles. We have two moles of SO3 divided by the partial pressure of each of the reactants so we have SO2 raised to power is number of moles into partial pressure of oxygen raised to power 1 as we have to find the partial pressure of SO2 so we can write Kp into pressure of SO2 square equals pressure of SO3 square divided by pressure of oxygen. Putting the values, the partial pressure of SO3 is 20.3 kilopascals divided by the pressure of oxygen is 375 kilopascals. So the value is 1.0989 kilopascals. 
as the value of kp is given in per pascals. So we can convert our kilopascals into pascals by multiplying with 1000. So it will be kp dot pso2 square equals 1098.9 pascals. Pressure of SO2 square will be equal to 1098.9 pascals divided by 2.96 exponential minus 9 per pascals which is equal to 37125 exponential 7 pascal square we can take under root on both sides so pressure of so2 is equal to 609302 pascals or 609 kilo pascals the answer is therefore b Question 34. The manufacture of ammonia from nitrogen and hydrogen is an important industrial process. Which of the following would leave the equilibrium constant Kp for the formation of ammonia unchanged? Now you have to remember that for in order to change Kp, there must be a change in temperature. So only temperature can change the equilibrium constant Kp value. No other thing can change the equilibrium constant. So the addition of iron as a catalyst will not change Kp. Addition of ammonia will just change the concentration. It will not change Kp. Increase in pressure will also not change Kp. So all three options are correct. So the answer is A. Question number 9. In this question, you should assume that all gases behave ideally. Hydrogen and iodine react reversibly in the following reaction. The system reaches dynamic equilibrium. This is the equation. The enthalpy change is negative. It means it is exothermic reaction. Which statement must be true for the Kp of this equilibrium to be constant? Before going into the options, you should always remember that Kp or Kc is only changed or only affected by temperature it is not affected by other things such as concentration pressure or catalyst a the partial pressures of hydrogen iodine and hi are equal this does not change kp or does not make it constant b the external pressure is constant External pressure also does not affect Kp. The forward and reverse reactions have stopped. This is not possible because at equilibrium it is dynamic in nature in which forward and reverse reactions are continuously occurring. D. The temperature is constant. This is the only option that is true because temperature can affect the value of Kp. So in order to keep Kp constant, the temperature must be constant. The answer is therefore D. Question 9. In this question, all pressures are measured in atmosphere. The equation represents the equilibrium between three gaseous substances X, Y and Z. X plus 3Y comes equal to 2Z at equilibrium. At temperature T1, the numerical value of Kp, the equilibrium constant is 2. At higher temperature T2, the partial pressure at equilibrium are shown. X is 2, Y is 3 and Z is 5. Which row is correct? First, you have to find out the numerical value of Kp at temperature T2. And second, you have to find out whether the reaction is exo or endo. Now we can find the value of Kp at equilibrium for temperature T2. The formula of Kp is equal to partial pressure of product, which is Z raised to the power is number of moles. As we have two moles divided by the pressure of X multiply by the partial pressure of y 
raised to the power s number of moles. Now putting values, the value of z is given as 5, so it will be 5 square divided by 2 into 3 cube, so it comes equal to 25 divided by 54. So it is either C or D. Now at temperature T1, the value of equilibrium constant Kp was equal to 2, while at T2, the value of Kp is 25 divided by 54, which is equal to 0 0.46. Now the value of Kp depends on the partial pressure of product, which is Z. Now as T2 is greater than T1, so we can say that at higher temperature, the value of Kp has decreased. It means that the reaction was exothermic. Because for exothermic reaction, whenever the temperature is increased, the equilibrium moves in the backward direction. So therefore, the partial pressure of product will decrease. So therefore, this is exothermic. Correct answer is therefore D. Thanks for watching. If this was useful, please do like, subscribe and share.